Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Barbara. This is Alex, and we are indeed from Exara Systems. During 2009, over half of UK businesses made online purchases totaling 466 billion pounds. According to Tower Group, most of those purchases were paid for by credit or debit card. Several banks offer purchasing card solutions to their business customers, however, their adoption is limited. Paying by card is certainly more convenient, however, it can play havoc with expense control. Today, we're showing for the first time our corporate purchasing solution that offers online purchasing power through cards while maintaining a disciplined internal approval process. The solution is delivered through our payment application platform, Open. Open is a payment application platform that opens up access Can we switch to, the laptop? to global payment networks like Visa, MasterCard, and Swift to businesses, developers, and entrepreneurs. Open offers a new approach to rapid payment application development through reusable components we call payloads. Picture these payloads working like Lego allowing you to easily assemble an application by adding, combining, and removing functionalities as and when needed. Our Open Card Guardian Paylet enables existing web-based purchase order solutions to be equipped with virtual cards. As you all know, a virtual card works like an ordinary plastic credit or debit card, but it's delivered in electronic format. Let me show you how a virtual card can be used within a familiar purchase order process. Pepper, a London-based marketing agency, uses a purchase order solution through its intranet. To make a purchase, Ross requests a PO, and Andrew in Finance processes and approves it, expecting an invoice in due course. Let me show you how that might look. Ross just clicks New PO and is required to complete the field shown on the screen. He'll enter a client name, job number, etc. And once he enters the currency and value, he can click Submit. You can now see the new PO that Ross has just created, and it's ready to be approved. Let me show you how the virtual, how the virtual card can be added to the purchase order approval process. Andrew can now access the PO by clicking Pending. And when doing so, he can see the details of the purchase order on the left-hand side of the screen. And on the right-hand side, he can start to set parameters for the virtual card. By default, the card can only be used once. Andrew can also set a time limit, after which the card will no longer hold any value, and choose to be notified when the card has been issued or used by Ross. For added control, and to ensure the money is spent only on specified purchases, Particular merchant category codes can also be associated with the virtual card. Andrew can now approve the PO. Now, if we go back to Ross, Ross is notified of its approval by email with a link to the virtual card. When he clicks View, he can retrieve the virtual Visa card number. 16-digit card number, three-digit security code, expiry date. He can now use that information to make his online purchase. Pepper can now engage in online purchasing while maintaining full visibility and control over its expenditures. Alex will now show you how easy it was for Pepper to integrate our Card Guardian application with their PO process. As you will recall, our, the Pepper application is powered by our Card Guardian payload. This payload handles all the interactions relating to the virtual card, including the card guardian role, the finance department, as well as the card holder. It also provides tags that allow all this functionality to be easily embedded into any web page without any specialized programming skills. Using our web integration tool, which you're seeing here, we can set parameters for the payload as a whole, such as limits and visual settings. We can also take each individual function and customize that separately. So I'm going to take one of the card user functions, which is the one um, that allows the user to retrieve the card. Now, as you can see, we can set the way the card would look. So this is obviously specified for Pepper here. We can set the font and, and the background. And we can also then see how this particular function would look within 
the context of the Pepper web page. And this is basically how it would look. I can easily change it by going, clicking on edit, going back, and for example, in this case, I'm going to add the option of showing the name of the user and showing any restrictions that had been imposed by, by the finance department. So again, looking to see how that would look, you can see that these elements have been, have been added. And that's what appears in the, in the Pepper web page. Now, what's special about this is that this did not require any programming beyond mere HTML to take an existing purchase order process that Pepper has been using for a while and actually add to it the whole virtual cart functionality with all the controls between the finance department and the user. And the same pattern could be applied to other applications of the Card Guardian Paylet, for instance, uh, parents and kids, similar roles. And, on, and, 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 and therefore, any application developer who wishes to take advantage of this can do so very, very quickly. So, as Alex just showed you, including cards within a purchase order process is that simple. We know that traditional purchase control systems don't work well with cards. Open Card Guardian completely changes that. We wish to work with banks to help them deliver a valuable new service at a time when managing cash is crucial to the survival of many of their clients. As you have seen, our unique open technology allows any company to integrate its existing purchase order system with our solution with very little effort. Come talk to us today. Thank you.